If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning one of three £10 Xbox or PlayStation gift cards in my March giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. If you're new around here, best of luck and enjoy the video. Hey guys, Ethan Way here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can swap and upgrade the Path of Glory card that you get from either the Spring or Autumn SBC for just 10,000 coins. This is something I did really effectively back with the Ones to Watch cards. It works in exactly the same way. I was able to go from getting really average cards to the likes of Lucasia, for example example, all the way up to getting 95 Neymar and loads of other great players. So I really would recommend this. It's very easy to do and it's just going to cost you 10k. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Smash the likes. Let's try and smash 250 on this video. We'll see if you guys are on your own here. Don't forget to subscribe and without further ado, let's go on into it. Now you can do this with either the Autumn or Spring SBC. I'm going to be using the Spring one just because in my opinion the cards you get in this are a little bit better. You've got the likes of Milinkovic, Savic, Goretzka, Sterling, Gundogan. Again, Higuain, Martial, Dembele, so many great players, so that's the one I'm going to be doing. You want to do the untradeable version of either of these, which is going to start off around 60,000 coins to do the initial SBC, but after that you're spending 10k each time to swap your player. So I'm actually using an untradeable card that I got from an SBC for about 10k. And there were a few of these. There was one for Vieira and one for Defoe. So if you've got either of those cards, I would recommend trading them in. And if you're looking for the cheapest formula to complete this SBC, it requires an 82 rating overall. All you need is two 82 rated players, three 81s, three 80s, and three 83s, and you should be good. I have already done a video on the cheapest ways of doing this SBC, but that's not what this video is about. Instead, we're showing you how to upgrade and swap your cards. So we're going to trade this in. And we're going to see what we get. And even if it's an average player, that doesn't matter because we can just swap them and upgrade them. So we're just going to open the pack up and see what we get. Of course, it is going to be a drop down. We get the purple flare. It could be something great starting off England. Striker, who is this? It's Jamie Vardy. That's actually not that bad. That is not bad. I don't think he's one of the more expensive ones, but still, he's got a good card. Uh, but I don't think he's one that I want to keep. Again, if you want to keep these cards, feel free. But... I don't want to in this case. I'm not going to be using Vardy in my squad. So I'm going to trade him straight back in. And we're going to spend about 10k on the gold players that we build the team around. The main expense in the SBC that sets you back about 60k is the Path to Glory card. That will cost about 45 to 50k. And you're getting an untradeable one. So all you need to do is trade in the card that you get into the SBC again. Spend about 10k on the players around them. And you just keep doing that. And just keep doing it until you get a player that you want to keep, a player that you you think is a worthy addition to your club and someone you may use or may get informs in the future. Vazi is a good player. He's probably going to get a few special cards, but he's not a player I want to use, so he's going straight back into the SBC. So I'm just going to trade Vardy straight back in. I've built a team worth around 10 to 12,000 coins around him, and it's very, very simple. Any player you don't want to use, you just trade back in, and you just keep doing this. You keep recycling the player until you get a player that you really want to use. Here we go, then. Next back, we get a French left mid. It's Anthony Martial, I think. Yes, it is. There we go. That is a perfect example of how effectively this works. We traded in Vardy, a player I'm not going to use, a player I don't really want, who's not that good on FIFA, and we've got ourselves Anthony Martial worth about twice as much as him, and I only spent 10k extra to upgrade. We've got a player that I'm definitely going to keep. He's got some great stats. That is a great pull. There we go, Path to Glory, Anthony Martial. First owner, he's got a really good card. It's now it's upgraded to 83, and you may see I've got 94k here. I think I had about 128k beforehand. That's actually because I went and bought three of each of the players that I was using in that SBC so I could quickly go and get them off my transfer list and put them back in. Just if you're wondering, because obviously I've spent more than 10k, but that's because I bought a few of each player. But there we go, Anthony Martial. It goes to show how effectively this works. That is just one upgrade I've done. Sometimes it will take more. I mean, I think when I got Neymar, it took about 10 of me getting quite average players or getting decent players. I mean, I got some of the higher rated uh, ones to watch cards, but ones I didn't really want to use, kept trading them in. And eventually I got Neymar. And it could be the same for you with these cards. You may end up uh, having to trade in a few to get something you want to keep. But Anthony Martial is definitely a player I'm willing to use in my club. Someone I'm going to keep for sure. And it only cost me 10k to upgrade from that Vardy and get this one here. So although you may be trading in cards worth quite a few coins, if it's a player you don't think you're going to use, just trade them back into the SBC. And it is going to end up being worth it in the future because you'll eventually get yourself a player that you're going to be able to build a team around or that will fit straight into your squad. I would really recommend this. And if you do want to see me doing loads of these later on today, leave a like on the video. Let me know down below because if I get enough support in this video, I will do a live stream later where I'm just going to keep on recycling 
Sterling cards, doing loads of SBCs and trying to get some of the best players. I really want to get that attack midfield Sterling card or maybe Willian, something like that. That will be great. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here and I'll see you guys later. Take care.